Hello everybody, Angel Arts here, and I wanted to announce officially the results of my 1,000 subscribers YouTube scavenger hunt. Um, if you're not really sure what I'm talking about, uh, click on the link above. Uh, it'll take you to essentially my original video explaining uh, what exactly this scavenger hunt is and what it entails. Um, and it just ended last week at the end of September 2013. And um, I just wanted to let you know, um, I, I wanted to determine for you live uh, the, the winners of the actual contest itself. Um, before I do, I just wanted to take some time to thank everyone out there who participated in playing the game. It really means a lot because um, I, uh, me and my other uh, LP buddies and YouTube buddies have worked really hard to put it together and um, it's, it's really, I, I am very grateful for anyone who uh, decided to give it a try and hopefully you had fun uh, going through the hunt because uh, I definitely had fun um, putting it together and monitoring how you guys ended up doing. So, um, I wanted to give shout outs specifically, especially to the people who helped make this whole thing possible by actually volunteering their time and their talents towards helping me with the clues. Namely, Lucky Jack 20, Dawnforge Cast, Hypersonic 92, Rick Luziark, Selves Leader Carson, Shali, Kathleen MMS, Moonlit Reaper, Ray Blank or Ray Blanche, one of the two, uh, Dead by Anime, Orange Kitty Studios, and last but not least, Family Jewels 7X. Thank you guys so much. I, it really meant a lot to me that you guys um, were willing to participate in helping me uh, put this all together. I think I thought it was a really great success, and those of you, again, who participated, I hope, in, uh, in playing the game, I hope had uh, an enjoyable time. So, without further ado, let's start talking about the results. So, so the way that the, the way that you have a chance of winning um, is that you had to get through all of the different clues, um, and there were 12 clues in all, and they got progressively more and more difficult. As you went on and um, anyone who reached the final clue and answered the question or actually questions that were asked on the final clue were automatically will automatically be put into a drawing that will allow them to win a free um, steam video game gifted by me up to $50 in value um, and uh, I decided that um, I would not only choose one person to win that via drawing, but two people. So we will be drawing two names out of that pot. In addition to that, um, if you were the very first person who reached the end and you answered the most trivia questions the earliest. Basically the last clue was a series of trivia questions. Trivia questions about me. And they were designed in such a way that if you, the more videos that you've watched that I've made, the more likely you'd be able to know some of these trivia questions. Because pretty much every single one of these questions you could learn just by watching my videos. So um, it gave a bit of an advantage for anyone who followed my channel closely. Um, and if you, basically you automatically won if you got, if you answered all the questions perfectly, but nobody answered all the questions perfectly by the end of the contest. And I didn't really expect them to because it really was, there were some pretty challenging questions in there. But um, because nobody would answer them perfectly, then the person who won was the person who answered the most trivia questions the earliest. Had the highest score, but the earliest highest score, if that makes sense. So, um, well, let's go over some of the questions, some of the trivia questions. Uh, the first one, I think, is pretty easy. If you guys watched my 
especially if you guys have watched my Asian invasion vacation videos, was what is Angel Arts' ethnicity. Uh, I am indeed Filipino because I've many, said many times that my family is in the Philippines, so I think virtually everyone got that, everyone who found the question specific to that, uh, answered that question correctly. Uh, the next question was, am I left-handed or right-handed? I've mentioned this in several of my LPs. Yeah, right and left. Um, let's go... Let's go... Um... I'm left-handed. Let's go left first. Tank. Okay, left or right? Left-handed rule. I guess I'm gonna go left, everybody, because I'm left-handed, as you all know. Because normally, if I get to a spot and there's at least two different directions that I can go, normally I go to the left, and I normally say I'm going to the left because I'm left-handed, which I refer to as the left-handed rule for me. So that was, that was the answer for that. Another trivia question was, uh, what is my favorite color? I've mentioned this in a couple of my LPs, I think, I, at least. Do you have one in orange? My favorite color, my personal favorite color. It's very loud and in your face, which I think fits my personality, personality a lot. And it's also, I think, one of the underrated, one of the more underrated colors. Because, I mean, everybody likes red or blue, green even, and some people like purple and yellow, but orange? Orange is one of those out there colors, which is exactly why I like it. So exactly why I like it. Uh, biggest video game crush. This, this I guess, would have been one of the trickier ones, because I don't know if I've explicitly said in any of my videos who my deepest video game crush is. I do have a top three uh, biggest video game crushes of all time. Uh, person number three would be um, Nathan Drake, actually, and you might have picked that up um, based on the one-year anniversary Q&A videos that I did a few months back. Um, so Nathan Drake is is my is my third place overall. Uh, second place overall is actually Piers. Piers, Nivens back over there, both both in his casual wear, casual casual wear, and not in his casual wear. Um, anyone who watched uh, the Resident Evil Six video pretty much knew what I thought about yeah, Piers, <coughs> Nivens. Um, although Jake and Leon and Chris were, were big ones for me, but I think overall Pierce takes, has a very special spot in my heart as number two. But uh, again, if you saw my um, one year anniversary Q&A video, it pretty much, you pretty much, yeah, in case you didn't see that coming, I definitely see there being a possible hmm, flirtatious love triangle between me and Alistair and Nathan Drake. Yeah, I can, if I had not known them beforehand, if I had just met them for the first time through this party gathering, I can see myself easily crushing on both of them. But I think at the end of the day, I'm going to have to choose Alistair. Like, I think Nathan is, is awesome, don't get me wrong, but I think Alistair would end up winning my heart at the end. Alistair is the one that has my number one. I think of all video game characters, um, he would be my biggest crush. Uh, just because he, just because of the nature of the RPGs, I was able to get to know, I was really able to get to know Alistair really well throughout the game, more so than Piers, and even Leon and Chris, and more so than even, um, more so than even Nathan Drake, so, uh, that was, that was, that was the answer for that question. Uh, the next question was, what is my lucky number? Um, again, this answer, th this question is pretty much is answered um, in my Asian invasion vacation video. Which, which one is number? Is there a it's like deal or no deal. 99. That's my point. Is there a 99? Oh, that's what you said? That was 99. No, 99, 99. Oh, what? What does that mean? It's the number one. Yeah. I got the number one fortune. Yeah. Number 
number 99, because I, I wanted 99. Oh number 99 is the best fortune. Wow, this is like the best possible, this is the best possible fortune you can get, and I got it. That's really cool. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so 99 is it. Um, what is the name of my boyfriend? Again, that's another, that's another um, uh, question that's answered essentially on my uh, video, on my Asian Invasion Vacation video. And then the last question was, my biggest female crush. If I were to ever have a legitimate crush on a female, it, it would be Buffy. Not Sarah Michelle Gellar, but Buffy, the character. You know, I just, I just love um, what she represents. I mean, she represents female empowerment, and um, to me that's very attractive. Uh, I, there is also a second person that pretty much ties with Buffy and uh, more probably is more appropriate because this person actually exists and is a fictional character. Um, one of my LGBT videos that I had recorded a couple of years ago at least, um, I also explicitly said that number one definitely, definitely would be for me Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway, I swear, is one of the most beautiful women inside and out I have ever seen. Um, she is, she's very elegant, she's very eloquent, she's very witty, um, and she has such a charming personality. I mean, what's not to like about Anne Hathaway? I would have accepted either answer, Buffy the Vampire Slayer or Anne Hathaway. So, that being said, uh, the last bonus, the last question was actually a bonus question, and the bonus question was essentially name all of the people that, all the video game characters that were on my wall in celebration of me actually having people up on my wall. Um, many people right off the bat mentioned my Toy Story 3 poster. Very good for all of you guys who noticed, uh, recognized the Toy Story 3 poster up there. Um, but I... Technically, I, it didn't really count. I mean, you didn't lose anything if you mentioned the Toy Story characters. And many of you actually went to the trouble of naming every single Toy Story character on the poster, which I thought was really impressive. But um, that's all extra stuff that you didn't have to do, because I'm sure there probably was a Toy Story 3 video game, and I think the in Disney Infinity, they have several of the Toy Story characters in there. But, uh, but that didn't count. Uh, but thank you very much for trying to be thorough, all of you guys. But anyway, we've got Caden, we've got Shepard, we've got Liara, we've got Omid, Chidi Omid, we've got Doug from Walking Dead, we've got Ben from The Walking Dead, and then we have the four main characters from Earthbound, Ness, Paula, Jeff, and Pooh. This guy over here with a rose, you probably can't see him very well, is Alistair. This guy over here is Sebastian from Dragon Age 2. And then we've got Piers, like I said, and then shirtless Piers and shirtless Jake Mueller, and uh, shirtless Caden. But I mean, you don't—you only have to mention—you only have to mention Caden once, and you only have to mention Piers once. So those are all the characters that are on my wall currently. I'll probably be changing things up and adding more, adding, replacing, whatever, whatever I feel like. But those are the answers. So the way the scoring system worked. Oh, there's one more thing. There was one more thing. Um, if you found all, if you followed directions correctly, the last thing that you had to do is you had to end your message when you gave me the answers to your trivia questions. You had to end the message with my tagline, as in that little tagline that I say at the end of virtually every single one of my my videos, LP videos. Uh, so that was worth a point, and then each of the individual. Uh, trivia questions, if you answer them correctly, were also worth a point, a piece. For the bonus questions, there are 14 characters total, and so basically what I did is I took your score, 14 characters, divided that by four, I think? Even th I know that doesn't divide up evenly, but it, it, even so, I've divided it by four, um, so each person is basically worth a fourth of a trivia question and then added that to your total score, and that determined who had the highest score of everyone who had reached the end. So that's how that scoring system worked. So, I am happy to announce that the person who won based on having the highest score, the earliest, 
is none other than Romolo Mistiani. Thank you, Mistiani, for participating. Mistiani was actually one, two, three, four, five, six. Mistiani was the seventh person, the seventh person who got to the end, who said, who submitted in uh, final, final clue uh, answers. Uh, but and because I guess she timed it correctly, she was able to rack up ten points. Her score, final score, was ten. Mistiani, I think it's a sheet. Mistiani's final score is ten. Uh, which um, brought us with uh, down to the misspelled had nine. The next person in line was the misspelled, and then everybody else. So, um, but don't worry, all of the people who, like I said, made it to the end are going to get put into the drawing. So let's get to the actual drawing and see who else wins. Hey everybody! So now we are going to be doing the actual drawing and. To assist me with the drawing, we have a special guest, Colin. Hello. That's very. I'm very. I'm very. I don't know. And you're very enthusiastic. I'm very enthusiastic. I'm you're excited. I'm person. It's just not showing on my face. Or... <laughs> I just never know. I'm not mixed experience in this. So I'm like I'm looking at the camera. But... This is. Oh, you're a you're a YouTube virgin. No, no. Well, not in looking at an actual camera and in person. So I guess. So. So yeah, Colin is going to be doing the actual drawing for the prizes. So I'm doing that so that you you don't have to blame me if he doesn't pick your name. No. So you, you'll take the you'll take the line of fire uh, for all the people who don't get anything. So I have my Waluigi hat, and it has the names of the people that I mentioned who made it to the end. Because if you made it to the at least last question of the scavenger hunt. Um, you are entering this drawing, as with the exception of Mistiani, since Mistiani already won the grand prize. So the people again that are in this well, hat. Is that someone I participated to start in? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. yes. Collins tried to participate. Oh, Mistiani, Mistiani. How far did you get? Like clue number three. Four. 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 Give me credit. <laughs> four. I was a I was a virgin Mistiani, but then I, I then I just went down the line. Yeah, I'm just Mistiani. But anyway, uh, Dark Elf MSV. Dark Striker, Nameless Red Wolf, Odige Supi, I think is how you pronounce the name. Uh, the Misspelled, you're an English teacher, so you can appreciate the Misspelled. Um, 808 Doodle and Kalendor Cray are all inside of this of this pouch. And uh, the last person who's in here is Sayo Larty19, because if you remember from my video, uh, Saya Larty19 was my 1,000th subscriber, and because he or she was my 1,000th subscriber, Saya Larty19 automatically gets put in the drawing. So yay! Uh, in addition to that, Dark Elf Themsby, since you um, was the very first person to reach the end of the yeah, Dark Elf Themsby was the very first person to reach the end of the scavenger hunt. I put Dark Elf Themsby's name in here twice. As well as the misspelled, because while Mistiani had the highest score at the end, uh, the misspelled had the second highest score, so I put the misspelled in there twice. Does that sound fair, Colin? Okay. So, Colin is going to draw the first name of the person who is going to win the first prize. So go ahead, Colin. Take a slip. Do I read it? Do yes, it open it up and... and and read out loud. You can even show the camera just to prove. Oh. M C V E R V. Yeah, no, that's amazing. All right, enjoy. Show them. Show them. All right, it is Kalendor Cray. Am I saying that right? Yes, Kalendor Cray. You just won the first prize, Kalendor Cray. You have also just won, but uh, from me, a fifty-dollar uh, video game, up to fifty-dollar value video game from Steam, gifted by me. And we are going to choose a second name who is going to win the exact same prize. I'm feeling generous. Two people will get to win this. So take the hat, reach in. A Dark L. Themsby. Dark L. Themsby. Show it to the audience. There we are. Yes. Dark L. Themsby, congratulations. You were not only the first person who reached the end, but you also won the grand prize as well. Congratulations, everybody. All right, everybody, thanks again for playing and for participating in the game. Congratulations to all of our winners. 
And uh, yeah, thank you again for subscribing and patronizing my videos. I really appreciate it. Do you have anything else to say, Colin, before we sign off? You were Rob Misspell. No, that's all. <laughs> I like Misspell. You were Rob. Oh, I don't even know okay. the rules of the game. Maybe no, you can, you're all you want, Maybe you can give Misspell the prize. You can give, give Misspell some sort of prize. I spoke too. <laughs> we'll talk about now it. I, now I'm the whole thing. All right, well, it's we'll on see. video. It's on video now. So I just should, should have kept my mouth shut. <laughs> I'm like, actually, this is you saying the last thing. This is probably the last time I can ever show this. And there's some people find this YouTube video. We'd appreciate this. So, oh no, for the last time. Oh, see what yes. Shirt, so probably the last time. This could have any relevance, but it's a weekend after. But for the people that actually probably overlap in the fanships. Cheer. Colin's a huge Breaking Bad fan, if you if you didn't notice. Yes. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. See ya, guys. Until next time, love yourselves and love each other.